Imagine a tunnel that connects two countries, reduces travel time by hours, and cuts greenhouse gas emissions, all while creating jobs and boosting economic growth. Welcome to Telt's Lyon Turin Tunnel, the ambitious infrastructure project that is set to transform transportation in Europe. Join us as we explore the benefits, controversy, and future of this engineering marvel that is breaking ground and pushing boundaries. Welcome to Build to Innovate. In this video, we'll be discussing the Telt Lyon Turin Tunnel Project, a proposed rail tunnel that will connect the cities of Lyon in France and Turin in Italy. The tunnel has been in the works for many years, and it's expected to bring a range of benefits to the region. These benefits include improved transportation efficiency, reduced greenhouse gas emissions, and increased trade and tourism. However, the project has also faced significant opposition due to concerns about environmental impact and cost. Despite this opposition, the Lyon Turin Tunnel remains an important infrastructure project with the potential to transform transportation in Europe. The Lyon Turin Tunnel project has a long history, with its origins dating back to the 19th century when engineers first proposed the idea of a rail link between France and Italy. However, it wasn't until the late 1980s that serious planning began for a tunnel that would connect the cities of Lyon and Turin. TELT stands for Tunnel European Lyon Turin, and it is a Franco-Italian company that was established in 2015 to oversee the construction of the Lyon Turin Tunnel project. TELT is responsible for managing the design, construction, and financing of the project, as well as coordinating with local and national authorities and stakeholders. TELT is a joint venture between France's national rail company, SNCF Bezo, and Italy's national railway company, Rete Ferroviaria Italiana, RFI. As such, TELT plays a crucial role in ensuring that the Lyon Turin Tunnel project is completed on time, on budget, and with minimal environmental impact. Turin is a city located in the Piedmont region of northwest Italy, bordered by the Alps mountain range to the north and west. The city is known for its rich history and cultural heritage, as well as its role as a major center for industry and innovation. Notable points of interest in Turin include the Royal Palace of Turin, a stunning Baroque palace that served as the home of the House of Savoy, the ruling family of Italy until the 1940s. The Mole Antonelliana, a distinctive tower that houses the National Museum of Cinema, is also a popular destination for visitors. Turin is also home to several beautiful parks and gardens, including the Valentino Park, which features a medieval castle and botanical garden. Lyon is a city located in eastern France, at the confluence of the Rhône and Saône rivers. The city is known for its rich history, stunning architecture, and world-renowned gastronomy. Notable points of interest in Lyon include the Old Town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that features narrow winding streets and stunning Renaissance-era architecture, the Basilica of Notre-Dame de Fourvière, a striking hilltop church with panoramic views of the city, is also a popular destination for visitors. Lyon is also famous for its culinary scene, with a wide range of restaurants serving traditional Lyonnaise dishes such as Coco Van and Quenille. The city is also home to several world-class museums, including the Musée des Beaux-Arts, which houses an impressive collection of European art. The need for the tunnel is driven by the limitations of existing transportation infrastructure in the region. Currently, there are no direct rail links between Lyon and Turin, which means that goods and people must travel by road or take a circuitous route through Switzerland. This results in longer travel times, increased congestion, and higher greenhouse gas emissions. The Lyon Turin Tunnel aims to address these issues by providing a direct rail link between the two cities, which will significantly reduce travel times and greenhouse gas emissions. The tunnel itself will be 57.5 kilometers long and will have a diameter of 8.5 meters. It will consist of two parallel tubes, each with a single track. The tunnel will be constructed using a combination of traditional drilling techniques and modern tunnel boring machines, which will excavate the rock and soil. The construction process will also involve the installation of ventilation and safety systems, as well as the construction of access tunnels and emergency exits. If you are liking this content so far and find it helpful, please go ahead and hit the like button, click the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel to get more great content from us. The Lyon Turin Tunnel Project is a significant undertaking that will require substantial investment and engineering expertise. However, its potential benefits in terms of improved transportation efficiency and reduced greenhouse gas emissions make it an important infrastructure project for the region. In the next section, we'll discuss these benefits in more detail. 
The Lyon Turin Tunnel project is expected to bring a range of economic and environmental benefits to the region. One of the primary economic benefits of the project is job creation. The construction of the tunnel is expected to create thousands of jobs, both directly and indirectly, in fields such as engineering, construction and transportation. Once the tunnel is operational, it is also expected to increase trade between France and Italy, as it will provide a more efficient and cost-effective means of transporting goods between the two countries. In addition to the economic benefits, the telt lyon turin tunnel is also expected to have a significant environmental impact. One of the main ways in which the tunnel will reduce greenhouse gas emissions is by reducing the number of trucks on the road. Currently, much of the freight transported between France and Italy is done by road, which results in significant emissions of carbon dioxide and other pollutants. By providing a direct rail link between the two countries, the tunnel will reduce the need for trucks, which will help to lower emissions and improve air quality. Another potential benefit of the Lyon Turin Tunnel is increased tourism in the region. The improved transportation infrastructure provided by the tunnel is expected to make it easier for tourists to travel between France and Italy, which could lead to increased visitation and spending in the region. This, in turn, could create additional economic benefits for local communities, as well as providing opportunities for cultural exchange and international cooperation. The Lyon Turin Tunnel project has the potential to bring a wide range of economic and environmental benefits to the region. These benefits include job creation, increased trade, reduced greenhouse gas emissions, improved air quality, and increased tourism. Despite the potential benefits of the Lyon Turin Tunnel project, it has faced significant opposition and controversy. One of the primary reasons for this opposition is concerns about the environmental impact of the project. Critics argue that the construction of the tunnel could cause significant damage to local ecosystems and wildlife, as well as contribute to climate change through the production of greenhouse gases during construction and operation. In response to these concerns, measures are being taken to mitigate the environmental impact of the project. For example, wildlife crossings are being built to allow animals to move safely across the tunnel's route, and reforestation efforts are being undertaken to replace any trees that are removed during construction. The tunnel is also being designed to minimize its impact on the surrounding environment, with features such as ventilation shafts and safety exits being constructed to blend in with the landscape. Another area of controversy surrounding the Lyon Turin Tunnel is its cost. The project is expected to cost billions of euros to construct, with estimates ranging from 8.6 billion to 26.1 billion, depending on the source. Some critics argue that the cost of the tunnel is too high, and that the money could be better spent on other infrastructure projects or social programs. Despite these concerns, the project is moving forward, with financing coming from both the French and Italian governments, as well as the European Union. The European Union is providing a significant portion of the funding, as the tunnel is seen as an important infrastructure project for the region and for the wider European economy. The Lyon Turin Tunnel project is currently in the construction phase. As of March 2023, work is underway on the French side of the project, with drilling and excavation taking place in the Morien Valley. The Italian side of the project has also begun work, with a main access tunnel being excavated near the town of Susa. The construction of the tunnel is expected to take several years, with a projected completion date of 2030. Once completed, the tunnel will provide a direct rail link between Lyon, France and Turin, Italy, reducing travel time between the two cities and improving transportation efficiency in the region. There are currently no plans for significant expansions or upgrades to the Lyon Turin Tunnel project beyond its initial construction. However, the tunnel is expected to provide significant economic and environmental benefits for decades to come, and may serve as a model for other large-scale infrastructure projects in Europe and beyond. As such, it is likely to remain an important part of the region's transportation infrastructure for many years to come. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content on innovative projects from around the world. What do you think about the Telt Lyon Turin Tunnel? If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. We love hearing from our viewers. Until next time, keep building to innovate.